This message is from the Book of Truth. It's from Our Lord Jesus Christ on Sunday, March 16th, 2014, titled, The Paradise Created by My Father for His Children is to be returned to them finally in all its original glory. My dearly beloved daughter, when the wor Word was made flesh through my birth, this meant that the Holy Word of God materialized as prophesied in my Father's book. The Word of God is very clear and it does not change. It will last for eternity. Anyone who tears the Word of God apart and amends it to himself or others is guilty of heresy. When I came into the world, God's children, and especially his learned servants in his temples on earth, knew the prophecies contained in my Father's book. It was no secret that my Father was sending his Messiah to redeem mankind, and this fact was taught in the temples and included every, in every reading of the Holy Scriptures. Everything which comes from my Father is the truth. He does not lie. The Word of God is cast in stone. What my Father said in the beginning will happen. What he promised will be fulfilled, irrespective as to whether mankind is accepting of the fact or not. My father gave the world <clears throat> his word when my father gave the world his word, then his flesh through my birth, his only son Jesus Christ, and then promised man eternal salvation. Every word contained in the Holy Bible, <clears throat> as it was given in its original format, including the book of Revelation, is the truth. Therefore, my father's promise to the world that he would send his son again, only this time to judge the living and the dead, must never be rejected. The period before this great day will be a turbulent one, <clears throat> and details of the time leading up to my second coming are contained in the book of Revelation, as dictated by John, to John by the angel of the Lord. To say that you accept one part of my father's book and not the other is to de deny the word of God. You cannot accept one part of the truth and declare the rest of the word of God to be a lie. The book of truth was foretold to Daniel and then given in parts to John the Evangelist. Much of what is contained in the book of Revelation is still to unfold. Many people fear its contents and, as such, will try to deny them, for the truth is a bitter pill to swallow. And yet the truth, when it is accepted, is something you can grasp much more easily because with it comes clarity. Clarity means that you can prepare more readily and with peace in your soul and joy in your heart because you know that I am coming to renew the world. You will know that the paradise created by my Father for his children is to be returned to them finally in all its original glory. No man can truly understand the book of Revelation, for not every event is recorded in, in detail or in sequence, nor is it meant to be. But know this, you can be sure that this is the period when Satan's reign dies and he has reached, and as he has reached the end, he will inflict every punishment upon me. He will do this by infiltrating my church on earth from within. He will steal souls from me and desecrate my body, the Holy Eucharist. But I am the church. I will lead my people. Satan cannot destroy me, for this is impossible. He can, however, destroy many souls by deceiving them into believing that he is me. Just as the world was prepared for my first coming, so also it is now being prepared for my second coming. To those who oppose me in my efforts to save souls and to embrace my enemies, know this. You will never defeat the word of God. You will never destroy the word. You will never desecrate my body and be allowed to stay standing. When the prophecies which are contained in the book of Revelation unfold, you must never despair, for be assured that the love of God for his children means that he will deal with his enemies harshly and strive to bring <clears throat> all of his children who recognize me, his only son, into his divine haven of peace. <clears throat> and while the enemies of God will steal the souls of many, <clears throat> through the veneer of charm and deceit, many people will pour scorn on the true word of God. For those who are blessed with vision, fear not my enemies, but the wrath of God, as it descends on those who try to, try to steal the souls of those who are none the wiser as to what is taking place. God's love is almighty, and his allegiance to the survival of every person is infinite. But his 
punishment upon his enemies is as fierce as it is final. Signed, Dear Jesus. God bless you.